I'm going to be showing you guys transitions that you need inside of Premiere Pro. If you aren't subscribed already, I highly recommend you do that because I'm going to be uploading every single day this month for the month of June. But let's hop right into this. So inside of Premiere Pro here, I already made the transition and it's the super quick zoom transition, but I'm going to be showing you guys a couple other transitions as well. So this music video is already cut really fast as we could see here. Now, when you're cutting your music video, you kind of want to do something similar. Now, if I play this through, you'll see that it follows the beat. So when something like that happens, I recommend you cut fast like they did here. And then once you have your fast cut clips, you're going to want to go into project up here. Then you want to go ahead and right click, hit new item. And then under new item, you want to click adjustment layer. Now you want to hit OK and drag the adjustment layer in. And what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in and we're going to crop the adjustment layer to the size of each of our clips here. So just by holding option and dragging alt on windows, you guys could see here that we're dragging these out just like so. Now that we have them on, we're going to click on the first one. Then we're going to go over to effects and we're going to drag and drop on transform right here. Now that transforms on there, we're going to go into effect controls, bring our playhead to the very beginning, and we're going to set a keyframe for scale. And then we're going to go close to the end and we're going to set it to something like 160. Now you want to make sure you uncheck use composition shutter and turn the shutter angle all the way up to 360. Now we're going to click and drag this to the very end. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press control C on this adjustment layer here, highlight the rest of them and press option command V. And we're going to check transform, make sure all of these are checked. So it's going to paste the effects on there. And then going ahead and doing that, we can see they're on there and the keyframes are at the end. So if we play it through, we have something like this which is a super fire zoom in effect. For the longer ones here, if you want it to be a lot faster, you can go back and change the keyframes to something bigger, like 200, just so it has the same amount of momentum. And then to add on top of this as well, if you want to drag and drop that exact same adjustment layer in, we can crop it down to four frames, and then we could put that in between the clips, just like so. And then on these, what you want to do is you want to go into effects. And then on that, we're going to create a flicker effect. We're going to search up brightness and contrast and drag and drop that on here. Then going inside of effect controls again, we're going to keyframe brightness and contrast at the beginning. And let's turn the brightness and the contrast up, something like this. And then we're going to go over one frame and turn the contrast up and the brightness down. And let's go back and turn the brightness up and the contrast down. Let's go and turn both of them down. And then going on the last frame right here, just by doing that little trick there, we can turn the brightness up and the contrast down. So we get a nice little flicker like this. So if we copy that and highlight all of these, just like we did before, we can then do option command V, paste all these on, and it's going to be a little bit intense. So I recommend going ahead and turning some of them off if you want. But if we just have a few of them on here and there, you get some pretty cool flicker effects. Now, on top of that there, that's a really fast paced effect that you could do super easily and free. But I have to put you guys on to these presets here. If we drag and drop these exact same adjustment layers inside of here, what we're going to do is we're going to line them up in between our two clips to create a transition. Let's do it for here and here. And we'll put one here as well and here as well. And then once we've done that, we're going to go into effects. Then we're going to open up my fast movement effects bundle. And inside of here, we have a ton of different presets that are drag and drop and work instantly. So you guys can see here if i open all these up this is everything that comes with it like it's an insane amount of presets uh we're gonna go ahead and throw on a couple from the v3 pack once you guys see how quick and easy these are to use and how fire they are like your, your mind's gonna be blown so we're gonna go in and put a soft hit with flash on this one then let's do a fast wipe with a flash and then let's do a soft motion blur hit and then for this one let's do top tier shake hit with flash so if you go ahead and play these through and if we play that without the transitions, super fire, guys. You guys saw how much momentum that added. Uh, those were a couple of random ones, but let me show you guys some of my favorites from inside of here. If we drag and drop a couple more adjustment layers on here, let's start with three. And then we go back into our effects. I really like the hard wipe with flash here. So if we go ahead and play that through, see how clean that is, guys. This is without it. And then with it, so clean. And then in this one, Let's go ahead and put on the aggressive hit with flash here. Super clean transition. There's also like a medium hit with flash and then a shake hit with flash. If you want something a little bit more intense there. And then the shake warp transition is also fire too. And then shake two is just a classic. 
These are honestly my go-to transitions inside of Premiere Pro. Also inside of here as well, there's a bunch of extras. So if you guys like that flicker I was using earlier, all you have to do is add an adjustment layer here, just like before, go into effects. And then we have a bunch of camera shakes. And then my favorite inside of here is a constant brightness flickering. If we drag and drop that on here, I remember serving you want to grab fast movement effects it's down below and you guys can use code 15 off to save yourself 15 percent off the pack anyways thank you so much for watching let me know what you think about the pack in the comments below if you guys do grab it i'll see you in the next video peace